The Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl is a statewide celebration and recognition of scholarship. As an Arkansas PBS tradition, the program has been testing students' knowledge and bringing future leaders into the spotlight since 1985. I want to thank everyone who participated in Quiz Bowl this year and congratulate those who have made it to the finals here today. Here's a softball to get you started. What year did Arkansas become a state? to find out who will be our 6A Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association champion. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Quiz Bowl, here's a refresher on the rules of Quiz Bowl. A Quiz Bowl match is made up of four rounds. Round one. The first round is simply a 20 question toss up round. Each correct answer is worth 10 points. Round two. Round two. Also features toss up questions. And if you buzz in and get one of those right, your team will receive four bonus questions worth five points each. The third round is the lightning round. The team that is behind at the end of round two gets first choice from three categories presented by the quiz master. They have 60 seconds to answer 10 questions for 10 points each. And if they get all 10 questions right, they receive a 20 point bonus. Any questions that a team misses, the other team can steal. Okay. Round four is back to 20 toss up questions. And now let's meet the teams for our 6A conference championship matchup between the Russellville Cyclones and the Benton Panthers. Hello, my name is Hayden Daniel. I'm a junior. I'm the captain of the team, and I missed a horn quartet for this. I'm Clara Nupp, junior co-captain. I Clocking in at 5'1", I'm the sh oldest and shortest member of the Quiz Bowl team. <laughs> Hi, I'm Randy Bacorn. I'm also one of the co-captains, and I'm a junior. This is Sebastian, our dancing crab. Hi, I'm Crawford Rash. I'm a junior on the Quiz Bowl team, and I'm here to do math, because I can't do much else. I'm Sarah Shoptaw. I'm a sophomore on the Russellville High School Quiz Bowl team, and I think Abraham Lincoln was a pretty cool guy. Hi, my name is Jim Mishuli. I'm a sophomore on the Russellville Quiz Bowl team. Spread kindness and drink mellow yellow. Hi, I'm Tyler Mitz. I'm a junior, and I believe that the corruption in the tuba hive mind has been caused by the violence inherent in the system. <laughs> I'm Simon MacArthur. I'm a junior, and I currently have more than 727 index cards in my backpack. Hello, my name is Avery Feimster. I'm a junior at Russellville High School, and I am not a crook. Hi, I'm Viren Donda. I'm a sophomore, and I have a baby shower to go in Memphis after this. Hey, my name is Jafet Alcocer Benitez. I'm a sophomore in the quiz bowl team, and I hate <laughs> My name is Logan Greggs. I'm a sophomore at Russellville, and I just wanted to eat the cereal from the quiz bowl. Uh, Steven Close, assistant coach, and yes, this is my natural hair color. I'm Coach Drew Taylor. Thank you for all you put into the program, Dr. Gray. Hi, I'm Becky Close, assistant coach, Russellville High School, and I'd like to say hi to all my students watching back home. Hi, I'm Paul Gray, head coach of the Russellville Cyclones. Man, this has been a lot of fun. Go Cyclones. Hi, my name is Joe Dorsey. I'm a senior, and I'm going to prom tonight. Hi, my name is Natalie Williams. I'm a junior, and thanks, Mom, for hemming my pants. Hi, I'm Abba Benefield. I'm a senior, and thank you, Natalie's mom, for hemming her pants. Hi, I'm Luke Talbert. I'm a senior. Hi, Grandma. Hi, I'm Ian Dandaran, and I'm a junior, and 60% of the time, I'm correct 100% of the time. Hello, I'm John Dorsey. I'm a junior, and shout out to Purple Team, and go Panthers. Uh, hi, my name is Owen Schwartz. I'm a, I'm a junior. Seogo Movego Provinca. Hi, my name is Olivia Krulin. I'm a junior. Hope you're watching from above, and yeah. Hi, my name is Connor Farmer. I'm a junior, and as a great poet with initials TS once said, why can we eat salad but not grass? Hello, I'm Tanner Holden. I'm a junior, and wish me luck, Mom. Hello, my name is Michelle Hastings. I'm a teacher at Benton High School. We're so happy to be here. Thank you to the governors and the Quizbo Association and Miss Carolyn Shrive for sponsoring this program. It's a great day to be a fighting panther. 
Okay, two very well-known schools, and so we have our Quiz Bowl expert with us, Bill Davis. I'm curious to know, what do you think of this matchup? What do you, what can we expect? Well, one of the things that jumps out at me is, is that Russellville's only got juniors and sophomores. No seniors. There's no seniors. Then when you look at Benton, you've got several seniors on that team. So it's going to be kind of interesting to see how this stacks up. The other thing that I gathered from the uh, Russellville coach was, Mr. Gray, that uh, they have been here eight years in a row. This wow. is their eighth year. Wow. And they have only lost once, and the one they lost was the first year they came. Wow. So they are pretty hard to beat. Yep. And Benton, on the other hand, used to be here all the time. Okay. And I heard one of their players say, and it was prom tonight, and I've seen them show <laughs> up with gowns and all kinds of things. This is gonna be an excellent match. Okay. It'll be fast. There'll be a lot of anticipation on the questions. Sounds great. Well, let's get to it and turn things over to our quiz master, Steve Patterson, to find out who will be the 6A state champion for Quiz Bowl 2023. Round two. All right, uh, good to see y'all. We did not play round one yet, but we're about to. And uh, two, as Bill uh, reminded us, two storied programs in Quiz Bowl uh, between Russellville and Benton. Well, I'm proud of all of you, and I've watched uh, you all play this year, and you've done wonderfully. Uh, so these two teams deserve to be at the top, and here you are. Um, all right, so we're going to start um, the game. And I uh, wish you well. Do you have your buzzers ready? All right, here we go. This American social reformer, pacifist, and founder of the Women's International Peace League for Freedom in 1919 was the first American woman to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Best known as founder of Chicago's Hull House, <laughs> Claren. Adams. You're right, Jane Adams. Good job. Spanning 60 years in music, this sing uh, singer, songwriter, political activist, and philanthropist was nominated for the 2023 class of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He is a popular country singer of the 20th century and is known for You Were Always On My Mind and On The Road Again. Uh, Crawford. Willie Nelson. That is correct. Good job. I've never said Crawford before. Uh, <laughs> all right. Math computation for the third question. <clears throat> If the area of a circle is 150 square feet, what is the area of a sector of that circle with a 30 degree central angle? All right, Jonathan. 25 feet squared. No. Uh, Hayden. 12.5 feet squared? Yes. Or I could have accepted 25 over 2 square feet. All right, this poem, uh, which poet Carl Sandburg described as uh, Crawford. Chicago? No. We're described as an American haiku, was first published in 1919 in his collection, Chicago Poems. According to that poem, how does fog come in? Owen. Slowly? No. It's on little cat feet. <clears throat> Math computation. Five questions and we already have our second math. All right. It takes Samuel six hours to mow the lawn, and it takes Henry only four hours. If they work together and mow at the same time, how long will it take them to finish? Jonathan. 2.4 two hours. No. Oh, I'm being told that that is an acceptable answer, so good job. I have two hours, 24 minutes, so not a math guy. 
All right. In the night, uh, in the 1821 Supreme Court case, Cohen's versus Virginia, in a unanimous decision, the court held that the Supreme Court had the jurisdiction to review state criminal proceedings, which Chief Justice wrote that the court was bound to hear all cases that involved constitutional questions, regardless of the parties involved. Uh, Hayden. Marshall. That is correct. All right, we're on question seven. What mineral in the human body is needed for the growth, maintenance, and repair of all cells? Uh, Owen. Calcium. No. And tissues to produce DNA and RNA and the maintenance of normal pH and extracellular fluid. Hayden. Phosphorus. Phosphorus is what we were looking for. In his book, Politics, Aristotle called this community organization the highest form of political community which encompasses all other kinds of human associations, in English as city-state. Hayden. Polis. Yes. Hence the term metropolis. Uh, what unit of measurement equaling um, 1.1508 statute miles is based on the Earth's longitude and latitude coordinates. Uh, Crawford. Nautical mile. Say it again. Nautical mile. That's right. <clears throat> Which American city has hosted uh, the greatest number of presidential nominating conventions for the two major parties, totaling 25 altogether? It will host the 2024 Democratic National Convention. Owen. Chicago. That's right. <clears throat> On the death of Queen Elizabeth II, her oldest son Charles became King Charles III and his wife Camilla received this title. Owen. Queen Consort. Yes. Nice. All right, judges, for the next one, we're going to an extra math question. It's number three in my corrections. All right, here we have it right here. As sine x equals negative two-thirds and sine x cosine x is greater than zero, in what quadrant does angle x lie? <laughs> Uh, Hayden. The third quadrant. You're right. All right. Uh, question 13. This long, narrow uh, microcontinent broke off from Antarctica about 100 million years ago and then from Australia about 80. Uh, Joseph. New Zealand? No. Uh, 80 million years ago. It is mostly made up of the two islands of New Zealand. Uh, Hayden. Oceania? No, it's called Zealandia. Zealandia. Okay, still angry over the giving of fire to humans. Zeus commissioned Hephaestus to create this woman out of Earth. Uh, Joseph. Pandora? Yes. All right. Now, uh, question 15. In this 1864 novel, Otto Lindenbrock, a geology professor, discovers and decodes a runic manuscript that shows the way to a subterranean world through a dormant... Joseph. Journey to the center of the earth. Joseph, you're right. This pianist and composer of the Romantic period was the greatest piano virtuoso of his time and uh, the first to give solo piano recitals. He composed Piano Sonata in B minor and uh, Hungarian Rhapsodies. All right, Sarah, list is right. 
In economics, what is the term for payment from a borrower or a deposit-taking financial institution? Uh, Crawford. Credit. No. Uh, to a lender or depositor in the amount above repayment of the principal sum at a particular rate. Owen. Loan. No, the word is interest. Interest. All right, in uh, 1674, this Dutch scientist looked at a top, uh, pardon me, a drop of rainwater under a microscope and was surprised to discover, uh, Hayden. Brown. No. Surprised to discover tiny microscopic unicellular pond organism, organisms, which he called animalcules. Identify this man called the father of microbiology. <laughs> Owen. Lee Winhook. You're right. All right, question 19. What French word used in English is a saying, image, or idea that has been used so often? Uh, Gino. Cliche. You're right. What separate, distinct branch of the armed forces under the U.S. Air Force? Uh, Joseph. Space Force. Space Force is the correct answer. All right, and that was the last question of the first round of play here in the 6A championship. And what we have up here is Russellville with 100 and Benton with 70. Are there any challenges? None here? None here, so we're going to go to Christina for a short break. Okay, thank you, Steve. Now we're going to cut away briefly to do a bit of quiz bowl housekeeping, but don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more. This month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. <laughs> Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. It is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm gonna walk until I ride. I'm gonna keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. Stream the best of PBS on any device with the PBS Video app. All your favorite drama, history, science, news, and documentaries, all in one place. Watch your PBS station live or catch up on the shows you missed. Support your PBS station and you can get Passport, giving you full seasons, early releases, special collections, and more. Download the PBS Video app or watch online. Welcome back to our 6A matchup where Russellville is in the lead, but still a lot of game to play. So let's go back over to the quiz master for round two. All right, it is so good to see all of y'all back after the break. Now we brought in Olivia over here for uh, Benton. Good to have you, Olivia. And uh, we kept everything the same over here for Russellville. And so what we're going to do now, of course, is play the bonus round where if you get the toss-up right, your team can confer on four bonus questions that are five points each. And with that, we can begin round two. Round two. All right, this island is the largest and most populous island in the Mediterranean Sea. And it's... Okay, Gino. Sicily. Sicily is right. Let's go. And you have won a bonus for Russellville that is called Blue Clues. Uh, the these color. are all associated with the uh, color blue. Okay. Painter of the portrait, the blue boy. Matisse. Answer, please. Matisse? No. Carl Perkins originally sang Blue Suede Shoes, and this rock and roll superstar sang a more popular cover of it in 1956. 
Elvis Presley? Yes. The blue period of this artist was inspired by emotional turmoil and financial troubles. Picasso. Yes. Author of the children's novel, Island of the Blue Dolphins. Odell. Yes, very nice. The only one you missed was Thomas Gainsborough, is the painter of The Blue Boy. All right, everyone's uh, hands on their buzzers because we're going to do another toss-up for a chance at the bonus. Which German word used in English means a spirit of the age and generally... Uh, Owen. Zeitgeist. Owen, you have earned your team a bonus. Good job. And uh, this one is called Function Facts. And it says to answer these questions about the function, you might want to write this down, y equals 3x squared plus 2y minus 1. I apologize. y equals 3x squared plus 2x minus 1. Did you get that change? OK. What is the degree of the function? Two. 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 Yes. In which function family does it belong? Parabola. Sorry, is it that or are you thinking like tri trinomial? Parabola. Answer, please. Go for it. Parabola. Parabola. No. In which direction will its graph open? Up. Up. Yes. Uh, and what is its y intercept? Mm -hmm. Negative one. Negative one? Yes. And the one you missed was quadratic. Quadratic. All right, we got two uh, bonuses down and two to go. So let's see who, which team can get it with this. What is the theorem that establishes that using complex numbers, all polynomials can be factored. Uh, Hayden. Descartes' rule of signs? No. Jonathan. Quadratic formula? No, it's called the fundamental theorem of algebra. All right, here's a toss up for you. In Geoffrey Chaucer's uh, The Canterbury Tales, this pragmatic pilgrim's five husbands had ranged. Joseph. The wife of Bath. You're right. And you have earned a bonus called Edgar Allan Poe Stories. All right. Identify these Edgar Allan Poe stories from a description given. Roderick buries his sister Madeline alive, but she escapes, and as both of them die, their house crumbles to the ground. The pit in the pendulum. Deferred to Natalie. The pit and the pendulum. No. <laughs> Montressor leads Fortunato into a deep vault to sample a rare sherry. Montressor chains him to a wall and bricks it over. No, no, no. The cask of Amontillado. That's correct. An unnamed narrator kills his elderly neighbor and buries him under the floorboards. Tell, tell heart. Yes. And in this first modern detective story, two women are killed in a locked room and Auguste Dupin investigates. Murder at Rue Moore. No, it's the murders in the Rue Morgue. Uh, and the other one you missed was the fall of the House of Usher. All right, but you got two right. So 20 points there, very good. All right, we have one bonus left and let's see if we can get it with this toss up question. Aspiring actress Elizabeth Short was tragically murdered in 1947 in Los Angeles in a brutal crime originally known as the Werewolf Murder until a newspaper gave Short this nickname. Uh, Olivia. The Black Dahlia. You're right. And you've earned a bonus for your team. And let's see what it's called here. Right, right. But, 
uh, organelles. Organelles. Identify these organelles from a brief description. Some of these tube-like membranes are rough because they are covered in ribosomes and some are smooth. Pass. Pass. These contain uh, digestive enzymes that break down proteins, lipids, carbohydrates, and nucleic acids. Pass. You're making me read these, aren't you? Uh, found in plants, these liquid-filled cavities serve as storage bins for food and waste products. We'll, we'll stall on the next. Stall? Yeah, we'll can, can they stall? Or we'll pass and then pass. Okay, so um, at the end of this uh, round, what's happened is we have another tie today. It's our second one of the day where we're tied going into the lightning round. And Benton, you answered the last question, so you'll get to call the coin toss to decide whether you pick first or second on the categories. So do we have a, oh, there it is right there. And uh, Joseph, while he's flipping, you're calling heads or tails. Oh, well. oh, tails. <laughs> I didn't notice. Tails. Tails. So they have won the toss. And that means the Russellville, you'll pick uh, second from the categories. They'll get to pick first. All right, we're going to uh, toss everything over to Christina. Okay, well, thank you so much. How exciting. This is our second tie where they've had to flip a coin to figure out who will go first in that lightning round. So very exciting things going on. And uh, we will be sure that there are no challenges or substitutions going on. And then we will be able to announce what the categories are for that lightning round. But while we wait, we have Carolyn Shry with us. Thank you so much for being here with us, of course, with the Quiz Bowl Association. And we talked a little bit about all that they do for students, but talk a little bit about how they reach out to students. There are so many all across the state. Well, we do a number of things to reach out to students, I think. Um, <clears throat> we try to uh, uh, to have some of the teams who have been active and all, have them go and talk with other schools, maybe that are not active or not very active. Um, we have, um, well, at our camps, we do a lot of things that reach out there, obviously. Um, <clears throat> we have uh, various types of, you know, interesting things like games and such thrown in between some of the fun challenges and the, and the uh, tournaments that are going on. But we, we have, you know, other things there too. We keep them going until 11 or 12, 11, 12 o'clock at night, whatever. They're too tired to do anything after that, you know, so everybody crashes till the next morning. Uh, we try to keep, keep the days as full with activities as possible, whether it's for, you know, at a camp or uh, elsewhere, wherever it is. Uh, just keep them going, more the, more the merrier. And we keep trying to invent new things, so. Okay. That's kind of how it goes. That's great. Well, thank you so much for all that you do. All right, it's time to go back to the match, so let's head over to the quiz master. All right, we're going to announce the categories. Benton will pick uh, first from the three categories, and then Russellville will choose from the two remaining. And here are your choices, Joseph. You might choose ancient rulers. Identify these rulers from the ancient world from a brief description. Or you might choose common acids. Given the chemical formula of an acid, give the name of the acid. Or authors known by initials. Given a famous work by an author and the author's last name, Give the initials the author uses in lieu of a first name. Y'all have one minute to decide. And while they do that, we're going to a break. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. 
Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. Want to see even more Arkansas stories? Subscribe to Arkansas PBS on YouTube for original productions, extras from your favorite local programs, behind the scenes videos, and our exclusive coverage of high school sports. All available on demand and all Arkansas made. Don't miss out on more great Arkansas stories. Subscribe now. The 2023 new member challenge is underway. We're over halfway to reaching our goal of gaining 2,023 new members by June 30th, which means we are closer to receiving the $25,000 challenge fund provided by individual donors and Arkansas businesses. If you recently became a new member or are already a donor to Arkansas PBS, thank you for supporting our station and the programs you love. If you are not yet a member, there is still time to help us reach our new member challenge goal. This month on Arkansas PBS. Gratitude does not extend to the acceptance of assault. Sister, will you please just forget I said anything? She requires nothing less than a miracle. I barely know her. I question whether she's even my mother at all or a fortune hunter. Once upon a time, there lived a boy from nowhere. Tom! Tom, Tom Jones. And a girl from the other side of the world. Sophie! Only on Arkansas PBS. My name is Al Lopez, Papa Rap in the house. I live in Northwest Arkansas via Puerto Rico. Been here since 1994, since the 94. And really, Arkansas PBS is the one that has taught me about this great community that we have here. Wonderful, beautiful, so much programming, tanta programación for children, for grown ups. Porque es el canal de Arkansas. This is a real Arkansas channel. means it is time for the lightning round. The teams have made their choices, so let's turn it over to our quiz master for round three. Round three. Well, welcome back. Uh, the groups have uh, made their choices on their categories, and uh, what's happened is, is that Benton chose common acids, and uh, the Russellville group has chosen uh, initials of authors. And um, we've brought in some folks, Tyler and Zion. Hayden, you're still in, Sarah's in, and Rainey. All right, and then Abba's coming down here for the Benton group, and I think everyone else has been in. All right, so, <clears throat> Joseph, still captain? All right. What you've chosen is common acids, and it says, given the chemical formula of an acid, give the name of the acid, okay? All right, we're gonna put 60 seconds on the clock, and here we go. H2SO4. Defer to Owen. Sulfuric acid. Yes. C2H4O2. Acetic. Acetic acid. Yes. H3PO4. Phosphoric acid? Yes. Uh, H3BO3. Bromic acid? No. Uh, C2H2O4. Salicylic. Defer to Owen. Salicylic acid? No. Um, H2CO3. Carbonic. Carbonic acid? Yes. HNO3. Nitrous acid. Nitrous acid? Mm, oh, no. no. 
Okay, uh, HCl. Hydrochloric. Hydrochloric. Yes. Uh, C6H8O7. Benzoic. Okay, we've called time there. All right, uh, so we got uh, down to number nine, but nine does not pass over because you did not give an answer. All right, so we got a couple you could pick up, Hayden. All right, the first one is H3BO3. Say it. Boric acid is correct. All right, C2H2O4. Oxylic acid? No. Oxylic? Uh, H2CO3. Oh, wait, they got that one right, didn't they? All right, uh, HNO3. Nitrous acid? No. That one is nitric oh. acid. Yeah. Oh, did they? And uh, oxalic? Oxalic was the other one. Okay. All right. Well, we'll go to you now, Russellville and Hayden. And uh, you try to do at least as well as Benton did. And what it says is, given a famous work by an author and the author's last name, give the initials they use in lieu of a first name. You ready? Yes. The Outsiders, Hinton. S-E. Yes. The Catcher in the Rye, Salinger. J-D. Yes. Mere Christianity, C Lewis. C-S. Yes. The Hobbit, Tolkien. J-R-R. Yes. The Call of Cthulhu, Lovecraft. H-P. Yes. Murder in the Cathedral, Elliot. T.S.? Yes. I carry your heart with me. Cummings. E.E. -E. Yes. Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Rowling. J.K. Yes. The Time Machine. Wells. H.G. Yes. Co-author of Elements of Style. White. E.B. E yes. Let's go. So all in <laughs> Well, that's what we like to see happen, that the uh, team runs the category and we give them uh, 20 extra points for running the category. All right, so at the end of that round, uh, we have Russellville with 255 and Benton with 175, still a very close game. And we're going to head over to Christina. Okay, thank you, Steve. That's the second time that's happened today, which is always very exciting. And there was a lot of applause in here because they got that bonus. So that was super cool to watch and uh, intense as always. Still plenty of time for things to change. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. This month on Arkansas PBS. After a miniature village is opened, a man is murdered. It would appear that poor Joe knew his assailant. Broken neck. Question is, did she fall or was she pushed? An 80-year-old woman is murdered. The last time I spoke to her, she was about to go into the wood. The shootings are getting closer together. I need your help. Dr. Jane Halifax, there is something else going on. Analyze everything. Only on Arkansas PBS. During the past year, we've been traversing the natural state with our cinematic drone from lakes and rivers, waterfalls, scenic byways, mountains, swamps, overlooks, and towering rock formations. This unique documentation of all four seasons from all four corners of the state with an aerial cinematic perspective will give you, the viewer, an Arkansas adventure like never before, exploring Arkansas from above. Download the PBS video app or watch online. This month on Arkansas PBS. Mexico is my heart. The United States is now my home. And in the space between is La Frontera. Each week we travel the country north to south, east to west, exploring some of the most exciting gardens. Culture shock isn't a bad thing. It's the growing pains of a broadening perspective. Come grow with us. 
only on Arkansas PBS. This month on Arkansas PBS. Three icons of style. Oh my God. Find ancestors who sacrificed. He lived in a cave. That's unbelievable. And survived. Four international stars retrace their family footsteps across the globe. The world changed because of Hank Williams' songs. The songs are just life. I've seen it or I've lived it. Only on Arkansas PBS. New documents are being digitized every day. And every day, the DNA databases get bigger. Sometimes the most moving revelations come from the paper trail. Sometimes some of the most shocking revelations come from DNA. I think I found out a little bit too much. <laughs> That's what makes us special. The magical way that we combine genealogical research with genetic research. And we're the first program in the world to do that. Without your support, there would be no Finding Your Roots. And without your support, there would be no PBS. Arkansas PBS is a place where everyone can see themselves, where everyone can find themselves, where everyone can be a part of something bigger than themselves. For students, it's always more fun to include the arts when you're learning. I mean, just to have expression, to see different forms of entertainment, it always just makes it more fun. And when I heard that my mother was recording different sections that teachers were going to see where it kind of showed her intersection between the arts and education, I was excited for the students who will get to use it in their classrooms. To target their talent and tenacity toward the top for today and tomorrow. Poetry is something that exists beyond the page and also on the stage. And so I was so happy that they followed the young poets, saw the value in it, and wanted to uh, document it. That's why everybody in the school tried to remain calm, but inside there was no inner calm while the classroom doors were locked. We were on lockdown. <laughs> Arkansas PBS is a seed that grows into a tree that branches out into fruit that can feed the world. <laughs> I would have never known the things I know now without that program. It really helped me advance my opportunity to this career field. It really gives them a, a fast forward, a, a good track to be able to come into the technical trades. To celebrate the first of five brand new transmitters that will broaden our signal coverage to just under 100% of Arkansas. We are committed to helping the youngest Arkansans prepare for kindergarten and for life. Education is everything, and if we can teach our children you know, to get out there and make the most of that, that's great, so I'm just proud to do my part. This is the first step to reforming our Arkansas, taking the effort to understanding each other's struggles and making them our own. Everyone repeat after me. We have a voice. Could not reach our souls. Paul. challenge. So I have Arise with me, one of the judges, to explain what the challenge was and, and what happens next. Yes, so this was on number three, where the question was H3PO4. Uh, the challenge that was presented by Russellville was that instead of saying phosphoric acid, they said phosphoric acid. And what we're deciding to do is we're going to throw that question out. But because Benton would have got that incorrect, Russellville needs a chance at a bounce back to steal. So we're gonna give them the extra on this lightning round um, that Steve will be asking them, and it's a chance for Russellville to steal those 10 points. Okay, so on that note, let's go back to the quiz master and, and play this out. Steve. 
All right, well, welcome back. And uh, we had the challenge, and the judges have ruled in favor of Russellville. And uh, so what we'd like to do, since you've heard the answer, is give you the extra question to see if you can pick it up. And it is, Hayden, are you ready? It is H2CRO4. Chromic acid? That's what I have as well. All right, so we'll add 10 more points on to uh, Russellville's score. And uh, I guess we're taking away 10 from the Benton score. All right. <clears throat> now, that's going to lead us uh, into a time of... Um, uh, Moving people out. Substitution. That's the word I needed, judges. Thank you. Uh, so we're going to take a short break here while we sub. <laughs> we always take a break there. This month on Arkansas PBS. Violin corneta. Have you ever seen one I've of these? Never, I've never seen this before. This is like the love child of a trumpet and a violin. <laughs> I wanted to show who she was. I didn't want to take a side. I'm gonna walk until I ride. I'm gonna keep. Only on Arkansas PBS. All right, um, welcome back to the studios here at Arkansas PBS on the campus of the University of Central Arkansas. And uh, Russellville, uh, as you know, just won that challenge. And, and so then we had uh, substitutions we needed to make and Luke came in for uh, Benton. And over here we brought the original five uh, back from round one. So good to have uh, all of you in the game. Now we have one round left, it's round four. There are 200 points possible uh, with a 100 point game. So it's, this is certainly doable, Ben. And with that, we can begin round, round four. four. <laughs> this alkaline earth metal is two thirds the density of aluminum and has six times the specific stiffness of steel by weight. Identify this element that has atomic number four. <laughs> Hayden. Beryllium. You're right. This island at the southern end of Japan has been called the land of the immortals by, because of its residents' low rate of disease and their longevity. Identify this island that was the site of the last major battle. <laughs> Owen. Midway. No. Oh. In the Pacific in World War II. Gino. Okinawa. Okinawa is the correct answer. <clears throat> in this 1841 novel, 13 year old Neil Trent, pardon me, Nell Trent, goes to live with her grandfather in London who owns a store filled with old and mysterious objects. Identify this Charles Dickens. <laughs> Sarah. The old curiosity shop. Sarah, you're right. Math computation for question 34. What is the value of log base four of 256? Uh, Crawford. Four. Crawford, you said you were in the game to do math and you were right. All right, so that is correct. This palace and fortress complex located in Grenada, Spain. Uh, Crawford. The Alhambra. I would say you're correct, but that was not math. <laughs> uh, you are right though, that is the answer. <laughs> okay. In uh, mid-1932, a group of World War I veterans called the Bonus Army marched on Washington, D.C. to demand early payment of their services, of their service bonus certificates. Which Army Chief of Staff, who would later be the Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces, Owen? Eisenhower? No. 
uh, in Japan was ordered by President Hoover to clear the camps. Gino. MacArthur. MacArthur. Very good. Uh, we've had a timeout called, and that's a 30-second timeout. And I believe Russellville called that timeout. But y'all may, of course, confer as well. So we are in... Yes. We are in a timeout situation. It kind of explain again why you think strategically this was taken at this point. Well, with the score like it is, and we're in the fourth quarter of the fourth round, uh, Russellville's going to put some people in to let them play too. And that's going to keep his program going. Remember, we stated at the start of this game, this is their eighth year in a row to be here. So it's more than just this year and this team. He's getting a program going and wants to continue that program. Well, we had one team with only five players on the whole team today. This team has a lot of representation yes, here. Yes, box height. And you know, I get excited when I see them take the pictures at the end when you're out there giving away the awards. And I see lots of students involved. Mm -hmm. uh, I suspect box site will get more students involved too. It's kind of a fever. Yes, and it's really important to let everybody be involved. Yes. Not necessarily always playing, but involved. Research, behind the scenes, right. they're always doing something, right? Yes, yes. And that's why you see all of the students that are involved with these two teams right here. They all get it. And it kind of grows. It's contagious. Absolutely. Well, we are going to give them a little bit more time to get situated. And um, something we've been talking about throughout the time here today is what is it, what's better in your mind for these to be really uh, geared up and ready for this, to be a lot of information about a little bit of things or a little information about a lot of different things? You know, that's a, that's a conversation that goes on all the time because you hear people say they need to specialize. Sometimes you'll get a student like we saw Claire earlier, mm -hmm. uh, seemed like they can just know everything. Right. But that's not true. You will have some that will just know a very narrow window of knowledge, but know it very, very, very deep. Kind of like the math one that we're seeing exactly. up there now. Okay. Exactly. Well, thank you very much. They are ready to get going. So let's hand it back over to the quiz master. Well, it is good to see you back here at this time out. Uh, that one turned out to be fairly lengthy, didn't it? Uh, Russellville has brought in some new players, uh, Avery and Jafet and Vereen. Huh? Viren. Okay, thank you, Viren. And Logan are all in for the Russellville group. And down here for Ben, we've got Ian. And uh, Owen's been in, Joseph's been in, but we've got Tanner and Connor. Good to have you all in the game. Uh, here. All right, we're at question 37, and it says to identify the prepositional phrase acting as a noun in the following sentence. After the game will be too late for us to go to dinner. Uh, Sarah. After the game. You're right. Number 38, during this 490 BCE battle, Persian forces invaded Greece and were met by Athenians. Owen. Uh, stall. Okay. By Athenians who defeated the Persians by sprinting at them to stay out of range of their author, uh, archers. Name this battle after which um, Pheidippides ran 26 miles to <laughs> Athens. Sarah. Battle of Marathon. Yes. That's correct. What is the name for the ending point of vector? Owen. Magnitude. No. What's the will? The answer is terminal point. Terminal point. This Hindu god of wisdom and learning is the son of Shiva and Parvati. Uh, Varin. Ganesh. Oh, Varin. I'm sorry, Varin. Ganesh. Ganesh, good, good. Sorry, I was busy apologizing, so I didn't hear your answer. All right, in this 1729 satirical essay, Jonathan Swift suggests, uh, Sarah. A modest proposal. You're right. Eat those kids. Uh, all right, math computation. 
<clears throat> this is question 42, by the way. The square root of 240 falls between which two positive, uh, Logan? You're right. This American president was a staunch anti-imperialist who believed that Americans had acted shamefully in Hawaii by forcing the abdic abdication of uh, Queen Liloa Kawalani in 1895. Name this president who's the only one to serve two non-consecutive uh, Avery. Cleveland? Yes. This country bordered on the north by the Mediterranean Sea and on the west by the Atlantic Ocean is uh, Owen. Morocco. Morocco's the correct answer. All right, question 45. <clears throat> what is the term for the simplest form of any function family? Uh, Ian. Parent function. You're right. Question 46, living between 2.4 to 1.4 million years ago, this hominin was discovered in Aldave Gorge, Tanzania in 1960 by Drs. Louis and Marie Leakey. Identify this hominin whose name means handyman because his species was thought to have been the originator of stone tools. Owen. Homo erectus? No. Sarah. Homo habilis. Homo habilis is what we need. Good job. Second in diversity only to arthropods, this phylum's characteristics include a soft body covered by a thin mantle. Uh, Owen. Crustacean. No. With a muscular foot and an internal visceral mass, or visceral mass, I guess is right. Name this phylum that includes the classes gastropods, bivalves, and cephalo cephalopods. Logan. Mollusca. That's correct. Number 48. While an undergraduate at Yale, this American designer and sculptor achieved national recognition for winning the national design competition for the planned Vietnam <laughs> veterans. Connor. Lynn. Say it again. Lynn. Yes, good job, Connor. Maya Lynn. All right, this King of Wessex in southwestern England in the 18, pardon me, in the 800 CE prevented England. Joseph. Alfred the Great. You're right. And question number 50. In this American play, the regulars at the end of the line cafe await the return of Theodore Hickey Hickman, but he returns to the cafe sober where he employs them to give up their feudal dreams and lead productive lives. Name this 1939 play by Eugene O'Neill. Sarah. You're right, Sarah. Nice. Good job. All right, and with that, uh, we add uh, 10 more points to the Russellville score so that they have 415 and Benton with their 195. So that means Ben. You are our first runner-up to the state uh, 6A championship in Russellville. You have won the state championship in 6A. <laughs> All right, and with, with that, and uh, an ode to um, Paul Gray in his last uh, state championship. Uh, we're gonna toss the to Christina. All right, thank you very much. And uh, what a match, like you said, over 400 points yeah. is rare. Uh, yes, it is. And now we've had two games where we've had teams that's done that. And Russellville is just, I'm telling you, they're gonna be the team to beat for yeah. quite some time. The subs, when they put them mm -hmm. in there, didn't play like subs. Not at all. Not at all. And those were young students that will be back next year, I'm certain. Yep. Now, let's get this statistic correct. That means they've been here eight years, 
and have been state champion seven years in a row. What an accomplishment. I really don't think anybody's ever done that before. Truly a dominant team here today. It was fun yeah. to watch. We are going to take a short break before we get to the awards, but first let's take a moment to meet some students that we might see on this stage in a few years. Here are the 2023 Quiz Bowl Junior High MVPs and High Point players. This month on Arkansas PBS. Join us for an in-depth conversation about the documentary with directors Ken Burns, Lynn Novick, and Sarah Botstein. I always sang. When I got into the camp, that's what saved my life. There are millions upon millions of Jews. Well, there can't be Jews in the German Garden of Eden. Only on Arkansas PBS. Arkansas, what's in your attic? Find out what your heirlooms, antiques, and unique collectibles are worth. Join us for the filming of a brand new show, Arkansas Treasures. Your contribution of $120 admits you and a guest to bring two items to our team of professional appraisers for an evaluation at a special event in the Arkansas PBS studios. And if your item and story are selected for filming, you may end up on our show. Additionally, your contribution gets you a one-year membership to Arkansas PBS, including our monthly member magazine and access to PBS Passport, where you can stream thousands of hours of incredible PBS content. This special event happens on August 5th and 6th in Conway. Tickets will go quickly, so guarantee your spot by calling now or visiting our website. Simply scan the QR code with your phone. Your treasure may be worth more than you know. tournament it has been. I am here with Carolyn Shry and friends with Arkansas Governor's Quiz Bowl Association. And take it away, you've got some awards to give out. Well, we do again, yes indeed, after every game. This one though is for a uh, second place trophy and uh, a nice check. And this goes to Benton and bring our check over here for them. Yeah. It's your big one for the wall. This has 1,500, but the real one says the same thing. <laughs> So you got it. And then over here to our first place team, Russellville. And go. they get a check for $3,000 and their trophy. And plus y'all get a banner. And uh, is Mr. Gray up here? Yeah, we need to recognize Mr. Gray. This is his uh, retirement year. And he's won seven championships in the last seven years. Fantastic! And I need to give an award to an MVP. And I know he's over here with Russellville. Uh, I believe it is, is it Daniel, I believe. 
Yeah, Daniel, right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you take it anyway. Well, no, yeah. <laughs> we have some other alternate players. We have Drew Dillman from Catholic in Little Rock. Um, J.R. Stip Bethune from El Dorado. Uh, Benjamin Hopkins, or Hopkins Benjamin. Looks like it ought to be Benjamin Hopkins. They put it in reverse from the others on here. From Pulaski Academy. Braden Dower from Green County Tech and John Wagner from Greenwood. That's our all-tournament team for 6A from all across the state. Congratulations to everyone. And then we're gonna have another couple of presentations here. Uh, where is Spencer? We need Spencer over here now, because he's got a couple of coach presentations uh, for outstanding coaches this year. Yes, thank you, Carolyn. Uh, again, I'm Spencer Watson. I'm here on behalf of Arkansas Friends of Quiz Bowl. Um, we uh, presented some scholarships earlier, but we are here also to present two awards for Coaches of the Year for junior high and high school. Um, and I emphasize that we are presenters of this award because the uh, nomination and the voting on this award is actually done externally. Uh, and this year we asked coaches to vote uh, to make this award really a, a peer recognition award. Uh, so I would like to welcome up here our uh, 2023 Junior High Coach of the Year, uh, Nita Wimberly of Whitehall. <laughs> And uh, also, I would like to welcome up our Senior High Coach of the Year, Josh Adams of Fort Smith Southside. Congratulations. Wonderful. Well, thank you all so very much. And congratulations to everybody, as well as the coaches. Thank you for all the work and time that you put into this and pour into these students. And of course, thank you, Carolyn, and to the association as well. We have crowned five state champions today, and we have two more to go. Up next is our 1A state championship between the Sacred Heart Knights and the Norfolk Panthers. That's coming up in just a few minutes, so be sure to stick around. 